I have this really old hot tub. It's actually uh, 2005. And I've done a lot of work to keep this thing running because things keep happening to it. I've replaced the main pump one time. There's a circulating pump back here. I think I've replaced that thing like six times. And the heating coil has gone a couple times. I just got a new cover for it, so I don't want the thing to die now. But just recently this, well, also this was a problem. This panel stopped working at one point in time. Uh, I can't replace it. This company's long out of business. I went for a hot tub the other night and it wasn't very warm. Power was not on. So I turned the power on. I mean, I flipped the GFI breaker back over. And it, as soon as the heat would come on, it would pop the breaker. So I'm under the assumption right now that my heat coil is gone again. I think this is the third one I'll be replacing. They're a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm sure these tubs haven't changed too much over the years, so I'm just gonna show you. I take the panel off of here. My uh, breakers are off right now, so I'm gonna have to disconnect this guy and this guy, open one of these, either side, and then push this through. You'll see in a second. Of course, my power is off right now. So I'm just gonna disconnect that guy. And this guy. Oh, and this guy. Oh, it's just attached to a LED light. Come on. Okay. And then I now need to disconnect these larger bolts. My old one just got out. Looks fine, but what the hell do I know about these things? And here's the replacement one. So I'm just hoping changing these out will fix my GFI that keeps popping. Okay, moment of truth. Let's go see. Tubs on, and it's going through purge. It's just where the jets basically they all just fire up. And now, once it checks the temperature is 94 and it's set to 102, I think. When this red light starts flashing in the bottom corner, I mean the heat's on. There it is, and that's not good. Okay, I think the problem wasn't the heating coil. I think I found the problem. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the problem. Well, <clears throat> looks like I'm ordering a new circuit board and topside controller. My new control panel and computer board thing has arrived. All right, so now I get to try and rewire this whole mess. That should be fun. This board is not exactly the same. I think it's the same, but it's laid out a little differently. So I'm just gonna pull each wire and label each one as I take them off. Like this first wire says J4. So I'm gonna mark J4 on it. So I know it attaches to J4 on this board here. Here's the back of the board. So right there was the problem. Okay, the board's been swapped out. Everything has been plugged back into the correct spots. So I popped the old head unit off, or control unit or control panel or whatever you want to call this thing. And I'm just gonna put the new one in. This guy is in place and hooked up. So now it's just the moment of truth. Let me go flip the breaker. Okay, here we go. My son's about to flip the switch. There we go, okay. Oh, and the heat's on too. 63. So this old ass hot tub 
new cover, new circuit board, new control panel. It's like it's been brought back to life so I can sit here and watch hockey. 69. So back out in the hot tub, watching the Leaf game.